Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, Angel Exorcism here, and I'm going to show you guys the PS3 version of port forwarding. Uh, somebody mentioned earlier, it was a question, by AC2332, static IP addresses means that the IP address is never going to change. I mean, it's not going to do anything by itself, it'll always remain that IP address. And as for wireless connection, if you're using a wireless connection, port forwarding is, in my opinion, useless. I mean, it does help but you're already losing packets and packet speed by you not being connected with a wire. So I strongly recommend you run a, run a wire through, through your house and follow my setup. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is, you don't have to sign in for this, but I do. I, I mean, I, I have all I've signed in. So, get on your network settings and your settings list at the very, very, very bottom. Uh, you can check your settings and connection status list. And what you're going to see is your DNS, your router, your subnet mask, and your IP address. All of that stuff, if you write it down, it's the best way to keep track of it when you were following my previous video about port forwarding. So, write this information down because your IP address, you can keep that IP address and then just make this static. And then set it up with your router to do the port forwarding correctly. Um, I didn't do any checks or anything in my video because I've done port forwarding plenty of times in the past. So what you're going to come come down here and do is um, go to your internet connection settings. Uh, you can read this. I'll give you a second. And um, <clears throat> you're going to want to go to custom because easy will just do it all for you. Granted, it's a lot easier, but if you're wanting a, wanting a better connection to whatever game you're wanting to play, this is the way to go. Hit wired. Uh, if you're on wire, I guess, uh, which I... I highly recommend. Uh, auto detect it because this junk is just going to confuse people. Uh, I mean, if you already know, it's fine, but I would rather auto detect it anytime. Uh, in the IP address settings, you definitely want to do manual because if you don't, you're wasting your time. Uh, I set my IP address to 10.0.0.3. Uh, that was originally. The, the IP address that was given to my PlayStation by my router. Uh, so that's the one that I just went ahead and kept on it to make sure it didn't clash with any other device. Granted, you can set it higher, and it'll have, it'll have less chance of crashing, but this is the way I did it because I feel like it'll be more secure. Not from other people, but uh, to make sure your IP addresses aren't going to clash with anything else. So change it up. My subnet mask was 255.255.255.0. Um, subnet masks, uh, there are other videos that'll explain that better to you. But basically, it's uh, it goes really big into VLANs and uh, connections to like, you have a private IP address, um, if it's public, if uh, it goes all it goes on and on, but anyway, back to this. This was 10.0.0.1, and uh, this is just for me. If you go back to my other video, you can compare the IP addresses I put in to my console and to my router to make sure my my uh, my ports were forwarded correctly. Uh, by the way, I got a new haircut, so if you like it, leave a comment and like it this video whatever if you don't like it dislike it I could give less of a shit so the primary DNS and secondary DNS some people will have a secondary DNS but I didn't I, I don't I mean it just depends uh, on your internet provider your modem and if your router uh, is gonna need a secondary DNS it some I, I don't know if any do specifically but Mine doesn't, so it was 10.0.0.1, just like my router. So, you go to the next step. MTU. It's automatic. Proxy. You can keep that as do not use. That's what I do. But, I mean, if you have a proxy server and you want to run it through that, by all means, have fun. Uh, universal plug and play. Obviously, you want to enable that. And it's going to ask you if these are the right settings. Click OK and you can test your connection. Now let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. I'm probably not gonna have 
probably not going to post this video, but if you're seeing this right now, it worked. So, now you guys see my download speeds and upload, which is surprising. It usually doesn't go close to two. Uh, but I recently got a different modem because some of you may already know my grandpa actually plays Call of Duty, and he's very good at team deathmatch, especially hardcore team deathmatch. So, if you ever see him on PlayStation, uh, I'm not gonna use his, his username because he'd probably you know, kill me in my sleep. But uh, that's how you basically set up your internet connection settings for your PlayStation. Hope you enjoyed the video, uh, AC2332. This is a shout out to you, bud, because I don't know, you just your comment made me understand that not everybody is as well versed as I I would like to believe. But that comes with everything. Thanks for the subscribing bud and thank you all for the over five thousand views we just hit that mark uh today or yesterday, I'm not sure. Um thanks again and I'll see you next time.